segue into Good, Good Day Cooks. Cooks. We are here with Daniel this morning. He is from Bill's Oyster and he, Oysters. Yes. And you're going to tell us all about Bill's it. Bill's Oyster. Bill's Oyster? Okay, yeah. I was right the first time. Cool, great. <laughs> Anyways, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks yeah, so much for having you. us. Yeah. Yeah, and Bill, you said that's your son's name. Yeah, I think that's my, so my cute. first son, my firstborn. That's, that's cool. very, I very wish my sweet. parents would name a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> There's still time. And you've got some beautiful seafood. Oysters are in season. That's what you brought. Aw, shucks. I'm thinking we're going to shuck these and eat them, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> oysters are basically an integral part of the restaurant and yeah. we usually carry four to six different varieties. I brought oh, wow. two different kinds with me today. Um, one is a Acadian pearl here and the other one's an interesting one. Um, it's a Gulf oyster from right here in Texas in Matagorda oh. Bay. I had no you idea. Towards the camera. So this yeah, is sure. the pearl right here. This yes. is the Texas oyster. The okay. Matagorda pearl okay. right here. And this is from Prince Edward Island. Um, and okay. we can open this up and we do uh, sort of a really special kind of preparation for our oysters. We call them the Oysters Royale, and we'll do that today. Oh, it's okay. Oysters, sea urchin, um, caviar, and uh, Bernays sauce. Ooh, oh, wow. So it's a really rich kind of decadent dish that we do, and Never had this. That I sounds think it's rich. Yeah. So yeah. I do. I, if you said what are those, I wouldn't have even known it was. That's just voice. seaweed to, so, to seaweed. plate it on. So oh, okay. I can open these up real quick for us. <laughs> Eat it, Adelie. The sea the seaweed. No, I'm is, is, can you? I don't, I mean, I feel like you can eat anything if you really put your mind to it. You could eat it. It sure. is edible. I don't think you'd want to. But okay. It is no, edible. Not great. That one wasn't too good. We'll try it's another one. It's just garnish. Okay. Yeah. Well, why don't you tell us about Bill's Oyster a little bit? So you guys we have opened, just opened, right? Yeah, we just opened about two months ago. Uh, May was our first month open, and it's right down on 3rd Street yes. between Colorado and Lavaca. We're a small little jewel box place, about 40 seats inside Aww. with a four-person to six-person oyster bar and uh, really nice banquet seating Okay. Um, and a great patio. But as we've been hearing this morning, it's a little, it's a little, little hot. hot for that right now. Yes. Adelie would say it's too hot. I say... Why not? Oh gosh, we went out yesterday and we sat outside. I was like, she was sweating. I was thinking, should I just leave? This is too much. <laughs> You're gonna leave. But there's, in I didn't though. Look, there's inside seating, Adelie. Yes. Oh, and it looks beautiful, and so, and so does this. So, what are those sauces that you put on top? So I know that's caviar, but I don't the really know. The first sauce we else. put down was the Bernays sauce, Bernays. and then this was the uh, sea urchin that we get from Santa Barbara. Oh. Okay. And then more caviar on top. This is a beluga caviar from Greece, so we put a oh, wow. healthy this little portion fancy. of there. That's decadent. That on there. Very decadent. Yeah, really yeah. rich, but... If people don't want to necessarily get oysters, what other things do you guys have? Oh, we have everything from crab cakes, lobster rolls, Ooh. burgers, Ooh. fries, a full menu. But, um, yeah, we really try to focus on the raw bar section of our menu and yeah. do things like king crab and crab cocktail and that shrimp. That sounds delicious. And you have a martini menu, too. We have a big martini menu. Um, we do about eight different signature cocktails and four different signature martinis, everything from a tequila martini, gin martini. Ooh. Ooh. Classic martinis as well, and we do a happy hour with ten dollar Tito's martinis every day from three to five thirty. Every day, happy every hour. Day. Happy there are a lot of people happy. Yeah. <laughs> Adelie, do you want to? Yes, I do. Do the honors. Of I trying? would love to. Oh, yes, thank you so much. Okay. Oh yeah. Adelie is trying the Texas. Yeah. Okay. I'm and curious to see so if there's fancy. a fancy. I've never had one like this. A way difference. Before. Adelie just eats on television. Yeah. How is it? Reaction? Oh my god. She loves it. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, I eat like 40 of those. I love oysters. They're like my favorite thing. Oh, oh man. Hope you like this one. Okay. Which, where... This is an Acadian pearl, so this is from Prince Edward Island in Canada. Oh, Ooh, wow. okay. Here we go. Good. <laughs> That was amazing. That was delicious. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it is really, really good. We're gonna have to go, oh. Adelie. Yeah, you guys have to come in. If oh, people, for sure. do you guys take reservations? Is it we walk -in? do walk-ins only okay. since okay. we're such a small little spot and we've got about 15 bar seats. Um, so yeah, it'd just be tough to do reservations, and it's kind of a, been a really cool neighborhood spot with a lot of a lot of uh, return repeat customers. Yeah, so far. I'm sure. So it's the kind of place you know just. 
here in the neighborhood, drop in, have a martini, have a dozen oysters. And oh, that sounds like on your way. Oh, yeah, sounds so beautiful. I know, perfect for the summer. Get it really is perfect nice for the food. summer. Yeah, we'll be there. Drink. Oh yeah, we're, Daniel, we're moving in. Yeah, we're we'll, <laughs> we're gonna bring all of our stuff, and we will see you there. But thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. And